Well, this is strange. What is going on? Welcome back to the videos. Uh, I've been gone for a little while. I'll explain in a sec about what happened and where I went. So obviously I tried to do, do a journey of running 5k in 12 minutes. Uh, I started doing that at probably the wrong time. That's when the weather was completely boiling. Like literally, if you go out, you're just gonna get burnt like instantly. So trying to run in something like that was incredibly hard. Now I did that three weeks ago. I was looking right now when I last uploaded. Three weeks. And that's terrible on my part. Um, I'll say I wanted to do this sort of journey and I just couldn't. I even went out running and just didn't record it. It was too hot. I came back just dying and yeah, there's no excuse to stop. But it was just too hot. Like way, way, way too hot. It was, nah, I couldn't do it. It was, I was just dying when I come back. And obviously because I personally wasn't that fit when I started doing that journey, I just couldn't do it. But I am thinking of doing another sort of, not really a journey, just a fitness sort of thing. So what I'm planning to do is just run two days a week, try to run, run about 5k for each of them. I'm thinking doing that might help me in the long run. Because only doing two runs a week still will get my fitness better. But also I'm not wearing my body out. And even though it's the weather is completely changed now, but because it's not hot or cold, it sort of mixes between those two. So I thought running two days out of a week um, would be would be perfect really. But instead of running more, obviously with running you lose a lot of weight and get like athletic body. But I myself I'm like extremely skinny, but I'm that skinny fat. Like it's a weird thing. I'm that skinny fat sort of thing. Like some people are fat, some people are skinny. In the middle. So like my arms are really skinny, my legs are quite skinny. But then I've got like a belly, like a, not a beer belly, but I've got a bit of a belly, it's, it's a weird one. So what I'm planning to do is today I'm going to do like a home workout, so like just do my core, like sit ups, uh, press ups to do, I think it does like shoulders, arms, back, I think that's what push ups do. And then i got some like weights as you can see, just, I don't know, I'm really bad at that, uh, pointing there, but see those weights there, yep. Yeah. I got two big poles on there to do like a bench press which I don't have a bench press so you have to try figure out how how to do that but I've got like two little weights to do um, is, it, is it dump no not dumbbells I, I forgot what it's called that's when you have the little um, like stick thing pole sorry and then just like two 5k's and lifting it with one arm and changing or you could do two at once so I am planning to do that, but today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm recording this on Monday and hopefully I'm going to get out tonight. This is going to be a bit of a vlog, I guess. I've never really like vlogged, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can do that. But today, I am going to go buy something that I have not bought in probably about 10 years. I'm 20 years old right now, so... When I was 10, maybe a bit earlier, might, might be a bit more than 10 years, which is crazy to think about. But today, I'm going to go, it sounds so nerdy, but I'm going to go buy some uh, packets, no not packets, Pokemon packs, that's it. Um, I used to absolutely love Pokemon uh, as a kid, love collecting the cards. The cards in anime, I watched more than actually playing the, the actual like video games. Which is weird, like so weird because like as a, as a adult, like a young adult now, I, lo I, just, I love playing games. But as a kid, I didn't really like playing it. It's, it's really weird. But I have, it sounds really bad, but I have only just finished uh, Pokemon Shield, um, which is bad because it came out in last November, November 2019. But with finishing that, I have been watching a lot of uh, Pokemon on like YouTube. I thought, do you know what? I haven't opened Pokemon packs in years, like since I was a little kid. So for why not? Let's go buy some packs. I think there's like a new collection out. I'm not too sure. I read a little bit on it. I think there's a new collection out right now. And once I have the Pokemon packs, obviously I'll come home, uh, open them, 
uh, obviously record me open them, see what I get. Never know. My God, Paul. I don't know what's like special, what's high in price. If there is any cards like that, because you got like the old cards, which is like the Charizard. You go for like ten k. Some of them. I, I I was looking. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, how is a Pokemon card that pro like pricey? Ten grand. Obviously, a lot of the old sets, like the very first generation of the sets, it's some of them go for like thousands. And it's crazy, like the market of it. And obviously, it's so old. It's like 1996, I think it was. I think I don't know if that was for Japan or for like Europe. So I've just got back. I went and picked up five packs of the Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, they did have the newest ones, which is Rebel Clash, but only in the Elite Trainer Box, not the actual just normal packets. While I was up there, I also saw that they had the Mandalorian The Child, which is the whole internet knows, uh, social media, as uh, known as Baby Yoda, <laughs> which came out that he's not actually the actual Baby Yoda, as in the Yoda you see grow up in the uh, film, but he's just the same species. But it's all that they had that, and I thought I'd pick it up. I really like the TV show, and really wanted to get the uh, Baby Yoda. But they they took ages to come out, considering it was a while ago when the series came out. That took a few like a fair time to come out. Anyway, let's get on to these five normal Sword and Shield packs. All right, so I got the five packs here. I've got two Gigantamax uh, Laprases, two Gigantamax Snorlaxes, and then one. Uh, Zacian, I think it is. I think Zamazeta is the sh uh, shield one. So I'm going to leave that one to last just because he's a legendary Pokemon. And I think I'm going to go and open the Lapras first. Now, I haven't opened a pack of these in so long, so I really don't know how you're supposed to open these if it's just a cherry on the bottom. Ah, I think that's it. There we go. So you just gotta wiggle it. So I think it's still four from the back, and then you put it at the front. And I think there's a energy, so I'm gonna guess water. Oh, fire. So we got a fire energy, pseudo Wudo, Elder Goss, Energy Search, Wooloo, Shelter, Crow Gunk, Silly Cobra, Silly Cobra. <laughs> Mincino and a another Min, Mincino, Mincino. I don't know what they're called, but I think that's a. I think it's I I I don't know what they're called because I haven't, I haven't played it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize the card. <laughs> I didn't realize the card after that. Ooh, I think that's a hollow, hollow Rider Boom. That's actually quite good. Hmm. Over there. I won't be showing the code because obviously I'm going to be using it. Four from the back. These cards are a little bit like chipped tonight, you know. Uh, energy, I'm going to go for. I'm going to go grass. No, oh, fighting. So we got fighting energy, Galarian, Lenoon, Rotom Bike, and Drizzle. Snom, the weirdest like looking Pokemon ever. Like it's so weird. Got my wild Gossy Fleur. I'm so bad with the names because I, I didn't really recognise a lot of these. A uh, Goldeen, Diglett, Reverse Krabby, and a Drampa. So nothing good. Once again, gonna keep the card to myself. Four to the Front. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Uh, what should I guess? I'm gonna guess. Guess fairy. Oh, it's dark. We got a dark energy. A Cobra Squire. A Galvan Chula, which looks like a electric tarantula. Galarian Lanoon. Galarian Ponita. Sobble. Maractus. Mudbray, Ponyard, a Energy Retrieval Trainer, and a, oh my god, a Full Art Zamazenta V. Woo! 
Ooh, that's actually quite nice. It's quite nice, you know. That's actually really nice. I'll put out there with my little boom. Uh, and I'll see, keep the code card to myself. Four to the front. I'm gonna guess, I guess fire as the energy. Oh, fighting again. Got, I see fighting energy. That Galvan Chula again. Kalarian the Noon again. Energy switch. Sobble. Pinchurchin. Blitbug. Rhyhorn. Mincino. Trainer Hop. And a hollow Galarian Obstagoon. Which is he's a, such a weird looking like Pokemon, I must say. So weird. Yeah, so we've got that one as well. Now on to the last pack with Zacian, as we now know him. Put these three cards off here. With Zacian on the front. Already got his other legendary partner with Zamazenta the V card. I'm going to have to look at that because I have no idea like if that's a good pull or not. I need to. On to the last one. So we got the card thing. Obviously, I'm going to keep one, two, three, four to the front. And then I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess grass. Oh, electric, because I didn't get one right through all of that. So, I'll see electric energy, trainer big charm, sea king, thwacky, mud bray. Hoot Hoot, <laughs> such a weird name, Pinchurchin, Vulpix, Nikit, Blitberg, and Lapras is the last one. So all in all, not bad, I, 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 as I said, I don't know if, if that, these are like good picks, well good like Pokemon to pack. Obviously there might be Pokemon in there that are good, but obviously I, I have no idea because I haven't collected these in so long. All in all. That was a uh, really fun to do. Obviously, something I hadn't done since I was a little kid. Um, feeling like a very big kid right now. And I definitely will be buying some more uh, the Pokemon TCG. I think they call it the trading cards. But that's it for today's video. Um, like I said, I'll definitely be going and getting some more uh, of the Pokemon TCG, and I will obviously open them because uh, yeah, that was a that was a lot of fun. So I'll see you in a bit. Goodbye. Bye.